Hello Legends. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to scrape Google Maps search results so you can get the business name, business address, business website, and then the contact email from that website. So the scraper that I've created is gonna do essentially this. So let's say we go to Google Maps and we type in mechanic. Once we hit enter, we're gonna get a bunch of search results. So the script is gonna go through each of these search results and then it's going to click on the search result, find the website, then it's gonna click on the website and then on the website, it's gonna scroll through and try find a contact email address. So in this case, we actually have an email address here called mitchim.auto at optusnet.com.au. So the scraper would then go through all the search result listings and then create an Excel file with all of this information. If you've never run code on your computer before, the first thing you wanna do is download and install VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So let's say you're a chef and you have a bunch of recipes. VS Code is your recipe book. And then the next thing you wanna download and install is Node.js. So Node.js is like a kitchen for JavaScript. So with all those recipes in VS Code, in order for us to run them, we need a kitchen and Node.js is the kitchen. So there's different libraries for different languages. And since we're writing in JavaScript, because I love writing in JavaScript, we're using Node.js. Then we're gonna access my GitHub repo, which I'll have a link to all these things in, my, in the video description. We're gonna click on Google Maps Scraper. The first thing we'll see is a bunch of instructions on actually how to run this script, which we're gonna to do together right now. Next, we're gonna to go to scraper.js. And this is the entire script that I wrote out. You're not gonna to have to modify anything aside from pasting in a URL that we wanna scrape and then letting it know how many search results you want. So let's copy this, control A, control C, open up VS Code. So then once VS Code is open, we're gonna click open. Then I'm gonna create a new folder called scraper. And I'm creating a separate folder because when I create my Excel sheet, it's gonna to save to this exact folder. So I'm gonna call this scraper and I'm gonna hit open. Then in the top section here, I'm gonna click on this, which is a file. And this is gonna add a new file to my project. So I'm gonna call this scraper.js, use the exact same name that I'm using, and then paste in all the code. So going through this code, you're gonna see green text, which is just commentary on exactly what everything is doing in this code. But the two main things you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to are the Google Maps URL, which is this URL here. So again, once you do your search for the first time, you're gonna get these results here. This is the URL you wanna use. You don't wanna click into one of the search results and paste it. That's not how this works. You wanna have the raw URL. So I'm gonna type in mechanic one more time. This is that URL that we're gonna be using. So I'm gonna copy this now and paste it in. All right, let's paste it in here. And the next thing you wanna pay attention to is this page downs. So when you first do a search result, you can see in my window here that I've got one, two, three, four, five search results. So the way that Google loads its page, it only loads in a lazy way. So you're only gonna get five search results if you run this as it is with max page downs equals one. Page down is like scrolling through the page. So if I scroll a little bit more, you can see that my bar is gonna reset. It's gonna keep flicking up. And that means I'm just basically loading more and more search results. So if I set this to one, I'm roughly gonna get around five search results. But if I set this to two or three or four, it's like I'm compounding again and getting another five search results each time. I recommend just starting out with page downs equals one, just so you can see how this process works. Other than that, whatever I explained to you before about clicking on one of these, clicking onto the website if it's available, then going to the website and getting the email address, that's what the rest of this code does. So you don't need to worry about too much of this at all, in fact. Uh, the next thing you wanna do is go onto terminal in the top bar and click new terminal. And now this is our kitchen. So our kitchen is set up. Back in the GitHub repo, we have some more instructions we need to follow. So let's go back into the instructions area. And we need to install Puppeteer and XLSX. Puppeteer is the functionality that's gonna enable us to actually scrape the website. And then XLSX is the functionality that's gonna let us create the Excel file. So you would just copy this, copy, so Control C, go to Terminal and Control V, and then you would hit Enter. And then it's gonna install all the packages that we need to run this script. So after we're done, let me just go back to here because it's a nice visual. Um, I'm going to run this script. So we're gonna get a bunch of logs in the terminal, which is just commentary on, hey, you know, now we're doing this, now we're searching this website, now we've got these results, now we're doing this next search result, now we've got this next website. It's basically gonna tell you what it's doing step by step. So you want to type in N-O-D-E, node, and then you're gonna type in scraper.js and scraper.js is the file name. So we're basically saying, hey, Node Kitchen, cook this recipe. So we're gonna go scraper, whoops, scraper.js and then we're gonna hit enter. 
once we hit enter, we can see a bunch of logs. So let me just scroll up this page and we're gonna see, okay, we're scrolling to the bottom of the page one. We finished scrolling, we found seven results. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of information. So we're ac accessing the initial Google link. So we're gonna click open here, find the website if it's available, go to the website and find some information. So as you can see here, we found Mitchum, uh, what is this? The Mitchum Automotive website. We found some email addresses. We found the email address we're gonna use. Next, we've uh, gone into Rapid Tune. We've hit a timeout error. Okay, so if the website is big sometimes, we might time out. So we might need to edit the code to uh, increase the timeout. But for now, I'm not gonna worry because for a lot of cases, as you can see, um, it's actually good enough as it is. So info at master service, generals, at AA net, and then we got some more information. So we're gonna finish scraping those seven files. So we've got six out of seven here. Now we're on our last file here. And we've got a Google Maps Excel sheet loaded up here. So I'm gonna to go to my finder, navigate to my scraper folder, and this is that Excel file that was created. So I'm gonna click it open. So out of the seven results that we scraped, we now have a bunch of contact information. So we got three that we didn't find email addresses for, and then four that we did find email addresses for. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep putting out videos exactly like this. If you like the style of my tutorial, please also leave me some positive feedback in the comments, just saying, hey man, what you're doing is pretty cool. Or if you wanna see any tweaks, also comment that below. Finally, if you have any recommendations on content that you wanna see, please also ping me. All right, thanks guys, see ya.